the purpose of the Endangered Species Act is to conserve and protect species uh, and their ecosystems. Um, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is a primary agency responsible for um, managing endangered species. And they're required to develop plans that list clear details to um, recover, recover that species, um, including what requirements that species would need so that it no longer needs protection, um, and, and basically the delisting process. The, really, the ultimate goal of the Endangered Species Act is to delist the species. And basically, delisting is the removal of that species from the federal list of endangered and threatened species. Um, and, and basically, delisting results through those successful recovery efforts and the effort that uh, wildlife agencies put towards recovering a species from a low population. Uh, in order to delist a species, um, you first have to identify what threats may be out there for that species and, um, and, it, and through the recovery process, eliminating that threat to the species. So over the course of times for wolves, wolves reached a very low population level. And uh, through the Endangered Species Act, those protections allowed the population to rebound. The goals of the Endangered Species Act are really served by recognizing species that are, are recovered and delisting those species and allowing the transition to state management um, where the authority for wildlife management lies within those, those states and they have the ability to manage populations. Um, the wolf population in the Midwest, in the Western Great Lakes region has, has fully recovered and this was recognized uh, in March of 2007 and now the states are managing wolves and they all have plans in, a f in place to effectively manage those wolves and, and as I mentioned with Minnesota specifically ensuring a future for wolves in Minnesota and uh, um, resolving conflicts that, that wolves have with, with people at times.